Okay, so in order to get the metamaterial specialist, which you need for some of the more advanced stuff, this is the earliest mission you can get, mission 17, and it's actually a big hectic the first time you do it, because you've got to rescue a couple of agents, but I'm going to show you where both of them are, and how to do it easy. So this is one of the few missions where I'm going to change out Quiet for D-Dog. He's going to be extremely useful in this one, because we're not going to be sitting still very long, and we have very limited time to save him. So, with that done, let's just commence the mission. Obviously, we're going to go in at night because there's no reason not to, and off we go. Okay, now that house on the hill over there, that is where the Metamaterials Specialist is, but he's not one of the guys we need to rescue. Luckily, he's literally on the way to the second guy we need to save. So, all we gotta do is land. I'm not really sure why they wanna land us so far away, but it gets a little annoying, but luckily, I can now run super fast thanks to one of the upgrades I've been doing. Oh, so come on. Okay, so we're gonna hit the ground running quite literally. d is gonna come in right behind us. And once we... First thing we gotta do is head over there to the first marker, the one closest to us, and save the first guy because he's got around three minutes or four minutes to live. After that, they find him and they shoot him with shotguns and you fail the mission. And that's not something we want. So run all the way here. Thanks to D-Dog, we know there's basically no soldiers within 100 meters of us. But as soon as there are, we will know about it. So keep running. There's gonna be around three soldiers around this area. As you can see, there's one, there's two. The other one is over here on our right. There he is. And there is our guy right there. The first time I did this, I failed it like four times because I just could not find him. Then I brought in D-Dog and, well, what do you know, it was extremely easy. Missed that shot right there, so I'm gonna get him. Now, you can trank those guys, but there is a lot of intense action of soldiers patrolling this area once you leave it and once you save this guy. So we're gonna want to get that guy out of the way along with us. But not before the guy we're saving. There's that guy over there, so be careful. He doesn't stay there that long. There he goes, and here we go, here's our little man. So all we gotta do is we're gonna bring him around over here to the same general area. Now over there on the left you saw another gray arrow. That is our, the, the specialist we wanna save. He's another hostage, oddly enough, and luckily there is very little security around him. So we're gonna extract our soldier right here. Now, unfortunately, that guy over there is coming in this direction, and he's looking straight at us, so we're not going to extract this guy just yet. Okay, looks like he's turning around now. I think we're far away now, and as you can see, yeah, a lot of people start showing up, so you want to hurry on this part. There we go, and now we're going to head over there. So thanks to the fact that they were searching for our guy over there in the forest, there's very little security around here. Unfortunately, that is not the same case for the second guy. Good news is, I got lucky here and it started raining, so this guy is going to come in to the roof, I believe, to get away from the rain. Go for a simple body shot. It'll take him about, what, 15 seconds to fall asleep, probably? But anyway, all we got to do now is wait. Ida will warn us if there's anybody nearby. Enemy presence detected. No Start moving in, and there he goes. So, it's this guy right here. Now, I've managed to upgrade my int scope all the way to full, so... There we go. I can know exactly what skills they have, and all the way what ranks they are capable of having. So, get him out of here. Luckily, the only other guy that is relatively nearby is the guy in the tower, but he never looks away from his little light, so... Bring him back here, and folding him out. And congratulations, you now have a meta material Specialist if you finish the mission. So now that we've, we're done with him, we gotta rush over to our second guy. So as you can see, they've given up the search on him, and I just narrowly avoided a mine. They've recently started doing that against me, I'm not really sure why or how, but that's just how it goes. Now, you want to head over here. This is where the anti-air antenna is, but we're not going to do anything with it yet. Now, the good thing is because it was raining on this attempt, that guy went into the 
building, which means I could save my gun suppressor, since I don't have the permanent one yet, by doing this. Down he goes. We are going to, I believe, extract this guy as well. We don't want him waking up. So as you can see, our dude is right there beneath those planks beneath the ground. Just making sure there's nobody else coming nearby. Now, right now, some ominous music starts playing. So, as you can see, if you take too long, things start getting very hairy and two heavily armed dudes come in and want to shoot this guy and... As we all know, heavily armored people really suck. So, we're just going to wait for the tranquilizer rounds on those two guys to start working. There we go. So, as you just heard, you can't just fold them out, you have to literally take them all the way to a pickup point. Now, there is a pickup point right there on, basically on top of him, if you destroy the anti-air antenna, but that would draw too much attention to us, so we're gonna take him all the way over here, in the middle of nowhere. And that is it. All we got now is wait for the chopper, and we are literally done. And you now have your meta material specialist as well as an S rank on this mission. This is at LZ. So now with this, you should be able to make the second armor upgrade for the chopper if you so wish, along with some other things. But at least you now know where to get this guy. So all we got now is get on the plane with him. And there you go. That's all you needed. 